It is a hot day. And you know what's refreshing on a hot day? These guys aren't a sponsor. No, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking G-Sync. So this is the green team over here, this green graphics card and that black monitor with a red light. Okay, don't worry too much about it. That's the green team over there. And then on the red team, we have the R9 Fury X, which is actually inside this computer right now, and the BenQ XL 2730Z. So I would consider that and the ROG Swift PG278Q pretty much equivalent as far as a G-Sync versus a FreeSync monitor goes. So we're gonna be doing something pretty interesting. We're gonna be taking a look at which G-Sync or FreeSync, both with 144 hertz display displays offers the lowest input lag, so the least latency between pressing the mouse and firing the gun. Stay tuned. Vote for Turnip. It's a shirt, I don't have one, so we're gonna do our best to demo what it looks like. And this is not what the real shirt looks like. It looks a little more like this, but we didn't have a sample to show you guys, so this had to do. Uh, you can stay tuned after the outro for bonus footage of the creation of this masterpiece, if you're into that sort of thing. So the first thing I'll need to do is, uh, oh yeah, guys, this just arrived today. Drop a like on the video if you wanna see the uh, 3DR Solo taken for a test drive. We've actually got some pretty good ideas. Burkle, who just about killed himself recently on his mountain bike, wants to test the follow feature on his bike. So drop a dislike if you think that that's a terrible idea and we should actually go ahead and just review it normally. So the first thing we're gonna need is on my desk over here. Now one of the better uh, methodologies that I found online, and I love those guys over at Blur Busters. They make my job so much easier. Uh, one of the better methodologies I found online is to have an LED that illuminates on an input to the computer. So in this case, we're gonna be using the Makey Makey, which has indicator LEDs on board, and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a mouse click. That's gonna light up, and then we're gonna be able to see how many milliseconds it takes with a high-speed camera before our muzzle flare, or flash, whatever. The bullet comes out of the gun, so here we go. Let's head downstairs and get our monitors together. I like these vlog-style videos because this is basically what's happening with every one of our videos, except uh, with this style, you guys get to kind of come along for the ride as we go on voyages of discovery in the labyrinth that is the LMG headquarters to find the hardware that we need in order to make whatever stupid video it is we're trying to make that day. So, you're standing on a, oh dear. I am only half standing on a rotating sphere disc machine ball. At least it doesn't have wheels. Oh, at least this isn't heavy. It's actually fairly heavy. Okay, um, here we go. You want me to no, I got here? this. Oh, don't turn, don't, don't turn, don't turn. Okay, and down, never do that. Ah. Why did I pack this monitor up? I knew I wanted to do this comparison. All of what we do is nothing without editing. Okay. So we've got both monitors here. All right. Competitors, lovers. No one is sure what I'm talking about. Are you? No, that's okay. That's fine, that's normal. Everything is fine. For some reason it started working and I don't know why and I'm not gonna question it. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what made the mouse work? No devices detected. What? Do you mean no devices detected? Okay, so now that my stupid piece of crap Windows 7 install has completely itself and won't work with a keyboard or mouse, which I'm gonna diagnose later with my handy dandy PS2 keyboard and mouse, 
uh, can install a USB keyboard or mouse. Trust me, we've tried. Um, we're going, we've gone ahead and switched to my Windows 8 test drive, and it is time to get the Makey Makey up and running, first of all. So we've, uh, we've set it up for click and ground, and then we're going to position this so we can see the activity LED. Boop, look at that, we clicked. Well, hold on, hold on. Well, I gotta put it somewhere useful. Okay, ready? So you can watch the LED illuminate just like that. I see that. Okay, so that LED is gonna be the indicator of when the gunfire should start in Crisis 3. Now, the reason we're using Crisis 3 is that Blurbusters has already done the groundwork for us. Those guys are awesome, which I think I already said once, but it deserves being said again, and have found that Crisis 3 uses a particularly not laggy engine. Not as much as CSGO, mind you, but CSGO requires some fiddling around with uh, max FPS settings within the console that we're just not going to do here. So, we've got our Fury X on the bench. I've got the latest driver that just finished downloading. We're gonna go ahead and install those, and boom, we're gonna find out how much latency between click and display with FreeSync enabled. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is enable FreeSync. Now, this is not quite as cut and dried as it used to be with G-Sync because you can also enable or disable V-Sync from within game. So we're actually gonna have to look at it four different ways. We're gonna have 144 hertz with FreeSync, with V-Sync on or off. Then we're gonna do G-Sync with the same thing, with V-Sync on or off, and then have a look at how things go. Okay, so we're in our game. Um, we're gonna target 200 FPS for our uncapped scenario. And then basically all we're gonna do is we are going to fire the mouse, or, well, fire the mouse, uh, fire the gun. Like that. Now, this is our Sony FS700 camera, and what it will be doing is recording the screen at 480 frames per second, unless we discover that 480 frames per second is not good enough, in which case we will record at 960 FPS, but the image gets very grainy and very dark at that frame rate, so it's a little bit harder to work with, so we're really hoping for the best here. So, uh, let's get started. Where, where is that damn remote? Not under the motherboard. It's good, it shouldn't have been there. Here it is. So the geniuses at Sony, which I have clearly demonstrated myself to be a, a more genius then, installed the remote IR sensor for this camera in the back of it. So the talent may never actually use it. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe like here and like sticking out so it works from any direction, whatever. So I use reflective tape here, and then I can be like, ba bam, bounce it and it will start and stop just like that. That way, I will be able to start the slow motion recording, which only runs for four seconds. I will be able to take some shots. Not that kind of take shots. What kind of videos do you think we make around here? And then I will be able to review the footage. And start. Oh, it didn't work. And start. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and it's probably done now. Okay. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can clearly see a delay, and this is running faster than the actual footage will be. Exciting. So let's come back with some numbers. So welcome to the next step in the process. It's actually been, it, it ended up taking me like three hours or something like that to run all of the numbers that I needed. But basically what it amounts to is I've got my folder full of clips here. So these are all slow motion clips of, here we go. So check this out. So you can see these are at 960 frames per second. So like the, the, you can barely, you can actually see the individual blades of the fan spinning. And then what you're gonna see here is a significant delay eventually Right, here we go, here we go. Between the light and the actual muzzle flash. So, that's not good enough. What we need to do is take this footage and dump it into Adobe Premiere where we can make an approximate equivalency of one of our frames is about a millisecond. And then what we do is we actually find the exact frame where the top LED begins to illuminate and then we count. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There we go. And then when we see the first hint of the muzzle flash animation, that's when I make my mark. That's when I put down my result. And we're already getting some really interesting results, which is turning this into more like a a regular Linus Tech Tips at this point, not very vloggy with like graphs and everything, but sometimes I'm just not in control of what video I end up making. I set out to do one thing and then it's like all of a sudden I'm making videos about Subway sandwich napkins and the way that you could actually use one to replace the built-in eraser on your dry erase marker if it was too full of crap with just a pair of scissors and a double A battery to help you. Also some tape. Ah, yes, a knife. It's covered in peanut butter. Oh my God, why am I sitting at Taryn's desk? So I'm not sure if it's because they think it improves their job security, but my asshole editors let me sit here for an hour counting frames one by one instead of just showing me this super easy way to do it by changing this to frames and then just marking in and out and then getting a frame count right here. So that's a faster way to do that. Little do they know that that does not improve job security. Well, we just told you. I'm gonna replace them all with robots. <laughs> these, these are the future. Video editing like that. <laughs> so I feel a bit like every Linus Tech Tips video is sort of like, um, like life, you know? You start out with joy and hope and belief that the world makes sense and then by the end of it, you're this jaded, bitter soul that just, what the hell is going on here? So, all right, I'll, I'll put all the results up on screen for you guys, or more accurately, I'll have an editor do it, since as you obviously know, I don't know how to use Adobe Premiere. So, um, at high frame rate, so at 144 hertz, 144 FPS, remember, we're using G-Sync or FreeSync regardless of what else is going on with V-Sync or no V-Sync. So, with no V-Sync, um, G-Sync really, does okay, but FreeSync actually comes out ahead at 1440p with the XL2730Z looking like it's overall a lower input leg chain uh, along with the R9 Fury X. So with VSync, however, so this is G-Sync with VSync, the way NVIDIA intended for it to be used before they eventually caved and allowed VSync to be turned off. Now we see G-Sync really come into its own with not only really, really low latency between LED light illumination and muzzle flash, but also a really tight grouping of the, of the latency here with FreeSync being a little bit sloppier. Now, when we move up to 200 FPS, you can see that no V-Sync doesn't actually give us on G-Sync an input leg reduction. Whereas with AMD FreeSync, now that we have desynchronized, we are actually getting a proportional improvement in our input leg. This is what we expect. But this is where my brain explodes at 45 FPS. Remember, this is the sweet spot for variable refresh rate gaming. With VSync disabled, NVIDIA just cleans up, cleans house. We're talking 72 to 73 frames with our camera. That is outstanding at only 45 FPS. That is an incredible delay. With FreeSync, not only much higher, but also a little bit all over the place in terms of the latency. Then we turned VSync on and I just retested this to make sure I wasn't crazy. If we turn VSync on, forcing it through the driver or turning it on in game, I just retested it. G-Sync is actually as bad or worse than FreeSync. So ultimately today, we have raised more questions than we have answered. Uh, what we do know is that at least on AMD FreeSync, you are going to, if you're going to exceed the maximum refresh rate of your monitor, then you are probably going to want to go ahead and disable VSync if you want that 10 millisecond improvement in input latency, so in like the responsiveness. And on G-Sync, if you're gonna be playing in that 45 FPS sweet spot where I guess Nvidia intended for it to be used, then you are going to want VSync off for some reason. But then if you're gonna be playing at a much higher refresh rate, it looks like VSync on uh, is the cat's pajamas with G-Sync. 
So uh, let us know in the comments if your interpretation here is, uh, is different than my own. And uh, thank you for tuning into this little adventure. I'm just going to look at my calendar. And it looks like I'm supposed to tell you about Mastrop, but I have no idea what their featured product is. So I'll film that at a later time. So thanks for watching, guys. Like the, or, no, I have a new outro. Dislike the video if you disliked it. You guys know how to do that. Like it if you did like it, though. Also get subscribed and maybe even consider contributing to us, whether it's directly through our forum by buying a t-shirt or by shopping at Amazon with our affiliate code. Once you've done all that stuff and you're looking for something new to watch, uh, apparently we just released, ah, yes, we just released our Fury X versus 980 Ti small form factor, you know, Uber gaming machine showdown. So check that out and I guess we're done here.